Hey everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Abby, this is Bobby and you have landed on Spend More Time in the Wild, a channel, a platform, a community entirely dedicated to inspiring and empowering people to get outside for the benefit of mental and physical health. Now I'm a filmmaker by trade, I spend a big chunk of the year shooting films and editing films and I've decided to do something a little bit different. Today I've come up to my local hill fort to play with this. It's a drone! So the drone that I bought three years ago in 2021 is the DJI Mini 2. So it's a really popular lightweight drone. But the reason why I stayed on the shelf was because I had a bit of a moral debate as to whether or not drones were for me and my productions. So I spend a great chunk of the year traveling and creating these films on the ground. It's a point of view, it's designed as a resource, so what you see is the experience you're very likely to have, obviously circumstances depending. The other thing that sort of made me go, well, what use is a drone, you know, in addition to the fact that you've got this beautiful aerial footage, but it's not something we're actually going to see, is that to get that aerial footage, you have to be that annoying person that bombards people's senses when you're in a serene natural landscape with this zzzz, that that noise, that noise. <laughs> and I've been that person on the receiving end of that, and it's been very, very frustrating. And I've just said, I don't want to be that person, so I'm not going to fly a drone. And basically the third reason why I've not used drones in the last three years or ever, in fact, before, is because I have to carry them. So pretty much all of the content I shoot is solo created, so I carry everything in and everything out by myself. So adding the weight of a drone setup, like this big bag here, basically, uh, is a chunk of extra weight in my rucksack. And I just haven't been able to justify carrying that, quite frankly. So... Today I'm really excited to get it out and give it a go. I've been inspired by some exciting projects this year in 2024 and um, despite the fact that it is a little bit windy, I'm hoping we can get this thing off the ground and into the air and see this beautiful Exmoor landscape from a whole new perspective. Ah, love a nice easy hill walk, I made it to the top. Now, it is a little bit windier than I thought, but the goal is to get the drone in the air from here. So, let's get out of the bag, let's get the phone attached, pick up some satellite, and then bish bash bosh. <laughs> Yesterday, I spent pretty much the entire day watching a video by Jevon Dovey, who has an amazing beginner startup video for using the DJI 2 Mini. And uh, this, is, this is basically it. This is the drone, so the Mini 2. This is the controller and this is the power bank which has got three batteries in it one of which appears to be dead after three years of not being used so hopefully we won't put that one in the drone uh, bobby's finding it all very intriguing but sad that he can't eat it all Right, so just before I turn this thing on, it's worth me saying that I have got my drone license, I've done the test, I've got my user ID thing, whatever it's called. You have to basically have your drone labeled with your ID, kind of like a car number plate. So I've got that on the left side, it's stuck on there. Depending on the weight of your drone, you have to have a different license. And now I'm gonna turn it on. It's making a noise, that's a good thing. Now we'll turn on controller, which hopefully makes another noise. Good. So I've got the DJI Fly app on my phone, which is basically what you have to use to do this. So what you can see is we've got the camera, you can see my shadow, there's my foot look, hello. <laughs> um, the left corner says takeoff is permitted, that means it's connected to GPS. The right corner is, I've got 18 satellites that I'm connected to, and then I'm going to press this button. I just want to get started really. Uh, here we go, Take off. Now what? <laughs> okay, so I'm on cinematic, which is very slow. Okay, and then how do I go up? Ah, Ooh. Maybe we'll just do that. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's forward. It's quite fast, it's faster than I thought.
There's my girlfriend. Hello. <laughs> Quite really is a game of trusting it. Like I'm using the distance meters, like how far away it is to know that it's coming back. And now I can see it, but when you can't see it, it's like, oh. <laughs> Beautiful sunset though. This is quite exciting. <laughs> so now what I can do is I can press the helicopter turn to home. Oh look, I can watch it coming home. Also the footage undoubtedly looks better when you're much higher up. Okay, Robert, it's coming. That is mad. <laughs> it's unbelievable how fun flying this thing is. A little bit nerve wracking. I don't quite know why I've put it off for so long, but I think just the whole idea was very intimidating. I can't wait to fly this thing in some exciting new places with some epic landscapes, some good sunrises, good sunsets. Maybe we'll even find some wildlife. So stay tuned for a little bit more drone footage on my channel coming this year. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just behind the scenes kind of banter, then I'd love to hear from you. Hit like, subscribe and share this video. And until next time, enjoy your adventures wherever they may be and stay wild. I'll see you soon. <laughs>